last time when he went to australia those three test matches brilliant you know brilliant especially in the conditions that he played the kind of mindset that he was in brilliant absolutely brilliant but but dopain i want to bring you in here and then we'll get shrini's thoughts as well look at the last 10 test matches yes he's not played in those same conditions as australia but look last 10 test matches his average has gone from 29 to 31 which which shows he's not in that in that form probably in that rhythm that we expected him to be his his performance has been really up and down there hasn't been a consistency about him that we can talk about agar hum consistency ki baat kare to wo inconsistency mein hai so chetan ha ha to start with uh, his 6 for 15 is beginning yeah. of this year that was on yeah. in south africa so yeah. your uh, basic contention that he has been up and uh, like in and in india the average going up from 29 to 31 is not massive yaar yeah? like it, he has played what five six seven test matches in india he, uh, 29 to 31 means his average is 33 right that bowling yeah. average is 33 uh, so mm. kapil dev finished with a career average of 30 if you or 20 uh, so one of the kapil dev and siraj No, no, no. I am not comparing, but I am saying that average is not much higher than his. No, no. What? What? No. Okay. Average is just one point. Average is just one point. I am talking about these ten test matches. Do you? Do you think? You have seen those ten test matches. We have discussed it on the show as well. Siraj hasn't hit a consistent patch. That consistent patch has been missing from him. Let's be honest about that. Stats don't always tell the real story. right no see he he is a good bowler for these conditions australian conditions he he is a bowler meant for australia and south africa primarily where there is bounce and if you have taken him you believe in his quality okay so if you have taken him uh, you, you play him in the first test it's a long series shami will come in in due course there will be injuries बहुत बहुत परम्यूटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन होता रहेगा अलॉन्ग द कोर्स ऑफ अ फाइव टेस्ट सीरीज एज ग्रुएलिंग एज दिस बट फॉर द फर्स्ट टेस्ट शिराज एंड बुमरा दीज टू शुड दीज आर टू लॉक लॉक सिलेक्शन एंड इवन आई थिंक आकाशदीप आफ्टर वॉट ही डिड इन द इन द फ्यू गेम्स न्यूजीलैंड एंड बांग्लादेश ये ही बोल्ड रियली वेल अनलेस देर इज समथिंग ड्रास्टिकली डिफरेंट इन द थॉट प्रोसेस आई डोंट नो लाइक Okay. because harshit rana he will again get a chance to play he will he will yeah. get a chance at some point you will see harshit rana yes um, yeah. okay yeah. shun your thoughts on this um uh, okay uh, wait uh, i'll just take a comment here siraj's first class record is impressive no doubt about that in fact his australia record is very impressive and i think that is something that put, puts him in contention for the playing 11 it's just that he's not in rhythm or hasn't been in rhythm in the home test which is okay because ek cheez aur bhi hai na shuni he is he is he is somebody whose natural length is back of length you know he is not somebody who bowls full a lot jo unka natural length padta hai siraj ke haath se jo nikalti hai ball that lands back of length in australia that back of length length is very very important that's his natural length his record in australia all goes in his favor and when we talk about youngsters like jaiswal and gail and rishabh pant standing up with the bat somebody like siraj is somebody we look up to to rise up with the ball Your thoughts? Uh, okay, first thing first. Uh, before I go any further on this, let me clarify that as things fall into place, thanks to that Vipayan line, the more and more clarity that I get, this debate is not at all between Siraj and Rana, right? Rana yeah. is now in my mind. Rana is part of the playing eleven. He's de- he's okay. making his debut. We'll see, yeah, we'll see. Then he will It, play in now, Akash Deep's place. Okay, okay, sir. Now the question is, one second. Now place. the question is, Siraj or Akash Deep? That is the question. Now you, Chetan says that you know, okay, there's a specific skill set Siraj brings to the table, which again probably puts him ahead. I could probably say the same thing about Akash Deep. Probably you know, kind of given the kind of left-handers that. uh australians will have probably probably though gautam gambhir might be uh, you know more excited about the idea of playing akash deep then again it all boils down to who is uh, showing what kind of rhythm in the nets i mean you know these are the guys who are watching them um from the outside not having seen anything from the outside given the energy levels and the form and the rhythm that siraj is uh, bowling with i personally wouldn't mind going ahead with akash deep 
you know, uh, 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 in this test match and uh, and to start with. Uh, from the outside, again, as I said, I don't know who's bowling, like how in the nets. Uh, but but going into this series, the kind of cricket that I've play, uh, seen, uh, you know, um, uh, the kind of energy level that I saw Akash Deep with and the form uh, that uh, that uh, Siraj has uh, okay. the kind of match that 